Hi, my name is Melanie, and I am the Benzo Bitch. I'm writing a book currently about how I became the Benzo Bitch, first diagnosed with PTSD. I think it was before 2004. And anxiety, panic attacks, married to an abusive, a narcissistic abuser feeder and shit. He did rape me a lot during the marriage. Said marriage papers were ownership papers. It's bullshit. But anyway, my book is titled A Benzo Bitch because I was turned into a bitch in... Well, during the whole time I was on it, for 12 fucking years, I will describe my life and sanity before benzos, during benzos, the worst of benzos, and currently I'm at 0.75 milligrams of lorazepam, praying that the psychotic withdrawals um, get less. My cheek is cut up. I'm not going to get into that. That's in other videos. But my book is titled The Benzo Bitch. It's going to be a collection of my artwork, my diaries, before, during, and hopefully after this detox. And that's just how it is. I don't look like myself. I don't feel like myself. A lot of depersonalization, some seizures, some panic attacks, heart jolts, sensitivity to light, neon colors glow. Those are some physical symptoms. <laughs> Psychotic symptoms are not really thinking, the DP crap. I'm, I'm holding the camera right now. I can see that I'm recording, but I can't feel my lips move. There's hardly any sensation of my lips moving. There's wind outside. I can hardly feel it. But I wanted to get this in because I'm going to make more videos about my book. Because for about the last five years, four or five years on benzos have been the worst. I don't even know who the fuck I was. Hopefully I'm becoming the artist gypsy that I'm supposed to be. So, that's that. Thanks for watching. And if again, if you're going through benzo withdrawals or any withdrawals, just stay on this road. You will become a stronger person, your spirit will be stronger, and your life, it's, it's worth it, this journey. Don't give up. I've been close to giving up, but don't give up, please. Thank you.